Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another review. This is Exa's affordable dual audio gaming headphones. Dual audio refers to the ability for the headphone to go old school analog with 3.5mm uh, headphone jacks right here, 4 pole, as well as going digital with Type-C connection. So both of these cables supports microphone pass-through. It can be aimed towards mobile, console, and desktop gamer. So a lot of flexibility just by having these two different cable options right here. The headphone is priced just under 56 USD globally, but for the updated price and ongoing discounts and promotion, you can always check the product links down below in the video description. Jumping into the design and build, the headphone is mostly plastic, but there is metal bands and metal cover for the design on the ear caps, weighing just under 255 grams without the cables and mic attached. The headphone extends up to 3cm on each side reinforced by the same metal bands that I mentioned earlier. It can take up a lot of stretching though I recommend not to follow what I do in the video. The headphone has a beefy ear cups. It has a thickness of 2.2cm, an opening of 4cm by 6cm diameter, and a depth of 2.7cm. The clamping pressure is good coming from a small Asian bill of 175cm tall. The headband padding is good as well. The ear cups has a one-way swivel mechanism just under 45 degrees of tilt movement. It has red LEDs on the side when it's powered via the USB, not 3.5mm cable. I wish it was a two-way swivel mechanism for better comfort. The left side features the two controls, the volume scroll wheel as well as the mic mute button. Do note that the volume wheel works independently from the volume control from the streaming device for both 3.5mm and USB connection. The microphone, the 3.5mm as well as the USB Type-C port is located on the bottom left side as well. The package includes a soft match pouch, detachable cable, 2 meter long USB Type-C to Type-A cable, 1.8 meter long 3.5 mm 4 pole cable, as well as a 3.5 4 pole adapter cable for separate mic and audio ports. On to audio test, currently what you're listening to is my Rode Filmmaker kit recording into my A7 Mark III camera. Thursday audio is amazing. What we have right here is the Apple M1 OBS Studio right here recording at uncompressed audio with the Type-C cable with a dongle right here attaching to the MacBook right here. So let's jump to this audio right here. So this is how I sound like testing one, two, three. Pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow. She sells seashells on the seashore. If you're not sure how the audio sounds like, no worries, I'll leave some words on the bottom of this video to let you know what I feel in the post-production time itself. So let's jump back to the main review. On to audio benchmark. It uses a 50mm dynamic driver with an impedance of 32 ohms, which should easily be powered by smaller devices such as smartphone and other mobile devices. We have tested these headphones via Type-C with the MacBook 14-inch M1 Pro at one volume bar with the volume wheel set to max on the headphones itself. Starting with bass and vocals focused songs. For TMB OK, normal bass packs great amount of energy, it's louder than the vocals, vocals is crystal clear and not muffled. For Pia Mia Do It Again, normal bass packs great amount of energy like the earlier song. Vocals is crystal clear but feels nearly the same with bass in terms of audible level. Can be a bit distracting and confusing or muddy right here. The bass fade with a long drag at the 2 minute and 5 second mark of the song. Pure eorgasm. Next with instrumentals, violin the raindrop, the piano and violin leans closer towards the warm sounding type rather than the crystal clear type. I always prefer the crystal clear type. The bass is louder than the instrumentals audible level wise, it can be distracting right here. So these headphones right here perform well from the ultra low bass frequency up to the lower mid, sadly. This is good for pop modern bassy songs or gamers who wants to listen out for low frequency noises so they can understand and determine where the enemy is. For example, gunshot from maybe left or right or behind you or front of you. Aside from that, bush rumblings or even footsteps enemy on top of you if you like playing in PUBG with building situation. Now, let me summarize what this headphone is all about. So despite being promoted for Windows only, we did have success with the Type-C connection via the 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch right here. We have great success with the Apple M1 baby right here, the 14 inch M1 Pro if I'm not mistaken. So you need to go to the system preference and set the audio manually. It won't be auto detect and change. Now at this price point right here, the microphone I wish can be improved a little bit more clearer. That would be amazing. Aside from that, 
you know, this is aimed for the kid gamers, teenager gamers, budget gamers, or parents who want some hardware that can be, you know, longer lasting for kids. Because kids tends to not care their equipment, throw around, bang around, rage quit. I think this one can take a beating for your kid. So you don't need to spend too much. At the same time, you got something nice for your kid. At this price point, to its very credit, I would say the ear cups is super thick. I mean, look at the sponge amount of movement right here. It's thick. So would I recommend these headphones? It's a mixed bag right here. But for comfort wise, for price wise, I would say give it a shot if you need something for on a budget of your kids. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in these babies right here, you can check the product links down below in the video description. Till then, I hope to review more AdSAS uh, headphones and I'll see you in the future. Bye guys.